All right, welcome back to part five of the Fourth uh, of July special. In the last part, I showed you guys Monopoly for the PlayStation One, and now I'm going to continue with Cool Border Street. Uh, I got this game because it was on one of my brother's demos, who's actually older than me. Got it in 1998. Disc. There was actually a black label copy, but I decided to get this one. Even though my brother said get the black label copy, it's a vintage collector's item. Black label copy that went to score because I don't. Next, I have Medieval, the original Medieval. I actually own the second one, but it's my brother's. It's in a jewel case. This is when you're going to start seeing the jewel case. And this is my favorite game of all time, along with Super Smash Bros. Melee with the GameCube. Metal Gear Solid VR Mission. This is by far my favorite game of all time. I love this game. I still like uh, Super Smash Super Bros. Melee, and this is my favorite games of all time. I just love this game. If you're a Metal Gear fan, you definitely need to collect this game. I actually found this game at a flea market, but I got this off of eBay. I was really happy when I got it. I almost, I almost beat the whole entire game. Next, I have Pac-Man World. Which is probably the best one in the Pac-Man World series, because the levels are uh, better than the ones in the newer ones. Personally, I think uh, this beats Pac-Man World 2, but I think Pac-Man World 2 beats Pac-Man World 3. I thought Pac-Man World 3 was the weakest. There's a disc. Now, um, I'm having a little bit of trouble with Pac-Man World, which I could, put, could probably get a video, but um, this is why I'm going to explain the video. Basically, um... I'm in World One. I'm supposed to rescue Puka to get the key, but for some reason, in the second level, I don't get the key. I actually get a health that's red around it, which basically restores all your health. And I don't know what I'm doing. If you want to learn more, I'll probably make a video about what my problem is. All right. So now I'm gonna continue with. I know that Aubrey, that Gom Fan 2007 just sent Aubrey Man 6187 this. Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. Oh, I almost showed my face. Oh crap! I, I'm gonna need to show it here. Yep, this is my favorite Spyro game of all time. This is a part of a collector's edition. Which I actually didn't get it from a collector's edition. I actually got this off eBay. Next I have... Cypher Filter 2. This game gets hate too. I know that, um... Uh, game, uh, Classic Games, um... Room, Gate, uh, actually said that this said that they'd rather be playing, uh... Some other games other than this. They said that uh, it's not good to, to get to all this, and it was just a disappointing game. It was actually shot in 2000 um, when uh, Science Filter 3 was about to be released. They said that it's shot, that Science Filter 3 is going to be better than this for the PlayStation 2, but it was for the PlayStation 1. Next, I have The Bombing Island. This is a very weird game. Basically, Kid Clown, remember Kid Clown on the NES, uh, you're him and you're trying to blow up all these islands. And I'm not going to tell you what the ending is, but just for spoilers, if you do, if you own this game, just for spoilers, he actually wasn't supposed to um, bomb the land, he was supposed to save the land, so he's supposed to rebuild it. And next, I know Johnny V. 418 has this game, aka Mr. Johnny V. 1993, Harry Potter and Chamber Secrets. I almost beat this game, I had 99%, I just need to beat the, um, you know, main Hagrid's Garden. I cannot beat that. Okay. And that's it for my PlayStation 1 game collection. In the next part, I'm going to do a TV game, um, which I know a lot of you are going to be excited. So, uh, 